right, so made it up top here. This is Mount Tommy in uh, Victoria, BC. Thought I'd come out here tonight to play some music. Take a little bit of a view before we hop in the car and get a little claustrophobic. Uh, this is pretty nice up here. Anyways, let's go back. Try going this way, see if there's anything better. I don't want to leave all the stuff in the car I've intended. Looks like this way might be better. A little less loud at least. No offense. <laughs> Here, take a quick look. See, it's pretty nice up here. Fix my camera. Zoom in a little bit here. Oh, that's way too fast. Maybe I'll just spin with my arm. That's still too fast. over here. It's Mount Doug area. We're on the Little Sister Hill right now, Mount Tommy. All right, let's get back to the car. All right, so we're in the back seat here and Let's just get everything out. Now, hopefully this still works because uh, on the way here, it took a couple of bumps, which was silly of me. Uh, one, this phone fell on it when I was trying to shoot time lapse, as you'll notice. So I cut in a little bit there. And two, it was wobbling around on the back seat of the car here. So put it up here for the time being. Get my keys out of the way. Let's get the stuff out. Circuit and the broken sample. All right, I'm trying the back seat. because Last time I was in the front seat, it was a little bit. Too hectic. Too many things going on. We're going to try the back seat today. So far, still not a lot of room. You get that minivan going on. So I am working on a longer video right now to kind of introduce people to making electronic music or buying synthesizers or whatnot. And what I want to do is I want to come up with some background music for that video. And in this case, that's what we're going to do tonight. In the back of the Mazda, baby. <laughs> I guess. haven't played around with these for about a month, you know. Spent so many time trying to get this thing working, and then uh, my USB mixer blew up, which is why I'm using an audio interface, kind of hacking it to use it as a mixer, even though this is totally not what you're supposed to use it for, but we're going to make it work. Or at least we're going to try to make it work till I come up with a better idea. Uh, man, I'm jonesing for one of those uh, new circuit tracks. Why? Why is that? Well... It has audio input, so I could uh, just hook the audio from the Volca sample right into the Innovation circuit and record from there. And I wouldn't have to bring this along, so I don't know, maybe I'll sell my Innovation circuit and pick one of those up. I just it seems silly. I can make this work. We'll see how good the quality is. Last time I did it, I totally forgot, even though I had the levels coming in right, I forgot because I'm pushing it out through the headphone jack. Those, those levels are all going to be messed up, so I'm going to use a different app on my phone to get a proper EQ coming into the phone and hopefully get some quality sounds or at least better quality sounds. <laughs> Don't know if the music I make will be quality, but we'll find out. Sure, this is on. Power to the Volca sample. 
can see in here that's good. I was worried about the light levels if I'd be able to see okay with the elevation circuit. That's working, so that's good. Now I just need to get some power flow into uh, the SSL2. This is awkward as fuck. Oh, what a mess. There's my headphones. Where is. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, I'm not an idiot, because look, I brought my USB C to USB C cable, which I typically use on my interface, but this battery pack only has big ass USB to whatever cable. So, but thankfully, I think I have one of those in here. All right, get this audio interface going here. Come on. Oh. Damn it, that's not gonna work because it's a mini USB. I not have that cable that would be silly of me okay note to self I need to put a proper cable in this hookup hopefully the circuit has an onboard speaker that we can just mess around with and see if we can come up with something good it's gonna sound like crap on here but then when we hook it into the phone it should sound a bit better when we record it so let's give it a try go to an empty session here That's not a drum.
this is where I'd get it. And I like to add in the <laughs> the sample on top of it because I'm quite happy with this. But uh, I don't know. It might sound like crap. It's coming through the uh, speakers in the circuit. But I'm out of room. I'm not sure if I, it gets a little annoying over and over again. And we can soften that up with some effects here. You know, I have one more drum slot there. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I got it. Yeah, no, that's, that's not it. and try to get a usable sound out of them. I don't know about that one. It's a little too weird. sound right so not getting any poly out of that so what I could do is just hop over to another pattern there how much is that actually adding to it quite a bit See, I'm out of room. So I can do something fancy with this drum track for. Well, you know what? It should do for some filler music on another video. So hey, mission accomplished. Let's give it a try. All right, let's line it right into the phone and see if we can get a decent recording out of it. fully as intended as a car comes up the hill here but hey at least I got a I'll wait till it passes so you're not really hear what I'm saying but at least I got something usable out of the uh, out of the circuit there you know maybe scared a little family <laughs> a couple of families parking nearby wondering what this weird band 
in a Mario shirt hold these cables and lights is doing in this car, but uh, up to no harm, no foul. So I'm going to hop back in the car and head home, and hopefully next time I'll actually remember uh, the proper power cable for the uh, audio interface so I can loop the, both of those suckers up together. You know, it was nice and peaceful before I turned this on, and now it's just uh, <laughs> car after car. I guess everyone's going down for the uh, sunset here. So Anyway, nice spot. Uh, got something useful at least out of it. And, uh, Time to head on back home.